Hi, I'm Patrick and welcome to my whiskey den. This week we're going to be taking a look at Minnesota's Crooked Water Regatta Rye. This is interesting and finished in Barbados rum casks. Should be something special here today. Like I was saying, today's whiskey comes from Crooked Waters, that is side of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, creator, owner, Heather Manley. I was lucky enough to get to meet her at Distill America. We have a short little clip from when I was there. Bang. So, the one I have here today is the Regatta Rye. The one at the very end she was talking about, who she traveled to Barbados herself to look for the right type of Caribbean rum barrel to bring back for this rye. Um, Crooked Waters is a really, really interesting um, operation. Like I said, Heather Manley is the owner. Um, she works with Yahara Bay, who actually makes the whiskey, they age it for a couple years in full size barrels with all the stuff they do and then she goes out and finds unique barrels to finish things in. Um, I know I've had a couple of her other ones, the King's Port um, and the other one were both really really good when we had them at Distill America so that's why I was really intrigued by the Regatta Rye. Um, as most of you know I'm not super rye guy but I am starting, it is working its way into my heart. It's working its way in there. A little crowbar at first had to pry it open. Now I'm starting to really enjoy some of the stuff that Rye has. Not all of it, not all the time, but a lot of times I am. Um, so, oh, wow, on the nose, not aggressive, but there's a lot of aromatics there right off the, right off the bat. A little bit of a pickle note, definite wood, the, the wood underneath that, pickle note, obviously other rye spices as well too, sometimes I just get lost in the pickle note because sometimes I go hunting for that and the black licorice note in some of these which I shouldn't, but that's where, that's where my head goes sometimes. It's kind of light on the nose, it almost... It's like, I don't want to say effervescent, but kind of, it almost brings like a white wine, like a freshness to it it's bringing up. It's bringing up like a freshness to what you're smelling. Hmm. I, uh, and almost a little seawater. She's right. She, it's, oh, there is like a little, like in the background for me, it's like a hint of talisker. There's like a hint of talisker in the back end of this someplace. That little, that, that little briny sea salt note. Yeah, that's definitely in the nose. I, I'm not against this. I like this so far. It, uh, it seems pretty interesting. We're gonna jump onto the inside of this and see what it tastes like. Hmm. Okay, front end, a little bit of orange, a little citrus. Um, rye note, obviously that's big in the middle. That's big in the middle, big in the finish. It's still working its way around. Um, and it is playing really neat with the rum because you're getting like, it's hitting like little high peaks in the midst of the rye. Little things are like pointing up and out of it. Like some of the light fruit notes only show up for, like like a split second, it's ch -ch -ch gone. Hmm, I, I find that pretty interesting. Like I said, I'm not normally a rye guy, but this is definitely one you can sit down with. And if you check the bottle, I've already sat down with it a little bit already because I did, I did like it. Oh, I didn't go over stats. Since, let's finish the taste and then I'll go over some of the stats for it. Sorry, I got too excited and jumped into the whiskey today. Mm. 
Wow, that is complex. Okay. Wood knots on the outside. Rye is big, but... Sorry, part of me is having that Ferrari whiskey experience where, like, there's a lot going on in that, and, like, the mid-range on this thing. Front comes in nice and light, rolls over. Almost got a little bit of lemon in there on that. But the mid-range is where it just explodes with flavor. And then it follows out all the way down. My tongue and everything is still very well cold afterwards. So this is sticking around. It has some nice oils and tannins in it. And on the taste, unique wise different, I do get a touch of seawater. A little brine. I don't know how, how those... I mean, obviously I know how the barrels of Barbados picked that up, but it is a little bit different from some other barrels that I've had because it does have this hidden, hidden salt or brine behind all this. And I am, if you know me, I dig that. So I'm, I'm in here. Yeah, it's very light. Oh, yeah, I'm having a hard time describing. This is really nice. This is, it has, it's rounded. It has excellent flow between stages. It's not like anything, all of a sudden it's like, boof, and it's out of, it's out of proportion. It's nicely rounded around the whole edge. I remember that about the King's Port. What I really liked about the one that was finished in there. And a port barrel, I really like that one. That was really nicely rounded as well, too. But still, tons of flavors coming out of this one. Um, for a rye, I find it pretty uh, pretty unique. I did get a little bit of pickle. I know a couple of people who don't like pickle. Not, I barely got any anise or anything like that in here, which or which I dislike, or licorice, same thing. I, I hate that, and a lot of the rye, I just, whew, it'll see me turn my head pretty quick. Didn't get very much of that at all in here, almost to none. That's so hidden by the rye spice and the barrel notes. I couldn't even tell it was in here if it was. So, yay. Oops, sorry. Not supposed to use okay anymore. That's we'll have to edit that out. Um, so stat wise, 95 proof, 47.5 percent alcohol. It's a little bit higher. She's not trying to water it all the way down. With a lot of her whiskeys, I know that she leaves it higher and wants you to bring it down to where you want it. She put it where she like, you know, she may like it, but it's good to find where you are rather than kind of washing out a lot of the flavor. And this is chock full of flavor. Um, so wonderful job at finding the right percentage there. One other thing on the back, I'm gonna read it to you because I like this. The Regatta Rye is a rye whiskey aged a minimum of two years in full sized barrels. You can tell that you can tell by the maturation of the of the wood that it had to be a little, at least a full size in that one. And then they're finished in mature rum casts that were imported from the sailing region of Barbados. This process allows the spicy notes to dance off one another, making your long for a day at the sea with the trade winds upon your face. Avast ye, my friends. This union is one to celebrate. She used the word avast. I, I was a marketing guy. <laughs> Sorry, that alone I might have bought the bottle for because I get kind of weird and giddy about stuff like that. Um, totally right. That hidden that hidden salt is what makes this really interesting for me. Um, if you get a chance to find something like this um, in your area, I would I would definitely pick up a bottle. Like I said, even though I'm not rye guy, and I may have liked the King's Portal personally a little bit more, but I'm. I lean a little more port than I do a little more rye, so that's my side of things. This is excellent the way it is. This is a very good one to try. Um, we'll be putting a link up to some of the stuff here uh, in a little bit. Oops. Like a lemongrass, not lemon, lemongrass, as in there. I should have said that, That's, I was missing. So, this was a great whiskey to try this morning. So happy we had picked this one up when I was down in Madison. Um, 
And it just goes to show that I, when I was down in Madison, I stopped at Yahara Bay, who actually produces this for them and a few other whiskeys for different places around the Midwest. They do a wonderful job with what they're doing. I mean, if your base is what you're putting out and you get something, you have to have something excellent to put into some other cast to make it even better. So they're doing a wonderful collaboration between these two and I hope it continues. Um, so coming to the end of the video here. So if you get a chance, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, do a little bit of some, show some love like I love you. And uh, remember, it's not the size of the den that matters. It's the love of the whiskey. Cheers, fellas.